want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, and the teachers I learned from. Uh, salutation to the elect out there, wherever you may be. And I want to do a part two from the previous lesson I just did, where it's titled, Yahweh Shai comes in the whole in the whole book. Let's see. I'm going to continue from Judges 13. All right, let's see. Judges 13 and 18. And the angel of the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, said unto him, Why act thou thus after my name, seeing it is secret? Now, let's go and find out what the word secret means. Let's click on it. All right. Let's see. Let's scroll down. Let's see what the word secret means. Seeing it is secret. Let's click on it. Let's get the Hebrew word for it. Let's see how it's pronounced. Strong's H, 6383. Pel E. Pel E. Pel E. Pel E. Pel E. Pel E. Let's see. Pel E. Let's see. Let's scroll down. Would you look at that right there? Secret. Wonderful. Variant. Wonderful. Incomprehensible. Extraordinary. Remarkable, secret, wonderful. All right, now keep that word wonderful in your head. Remember the word wonderful. Now, let's go get another precept. Let's see, wonderful. Let's type in wonderful. 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 Let's see. Let's go. I think it's in. Let's see. Wonderful, wonderful. Here we go. It's in Isaiah 9 and 6. Let's see. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. So you see, wonderful. So that angel had to have me Yahweh to talk to Manoah and his wife, the parents of Samson. So that's another example that that was Yahweh Shai. Let's see. Let's get another one. Let's see. Let's see. Judges. It's the first five, five books of Moses, the Old Testament. Let's go get another example. Let's see. Uh... See. Yeah, let's let's go to Numbers. Here's another example. Let's go to Numbers about that uh false prophet Balak. I mean Balaam, Balaam, the son of Beor, the uh, soothsayer. Let's let's see. Let's show you that Yahushua is mentioned in in Numbers also. Let's see. Numbers twenty four. Numbers 24, so on down, yeah, let's start at uh, Numbers 24, all right, let's see, Numbers 24 and 15, hold up, let me go back up, let's see, numbers, let's start at Numbers 24 and 14, let's see, Numbers 24 and 14, and now, behold, I go unto my people, come, therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days you see so he's talking about what the children of israel shall do unto unto the people you know the ammonites in the last days because balak was trying to get balaam the suits the suits say it's a curse the children of israel but the most High turned their curse into a blessing now let's keep reading let's see numbers 24 and 15 and he took up this parable and said on and said balaam the son of Beor had said and the man whose eyes were open have said you see and let's see verse 16 he had said which heard the words of god and knew the knowledge of the most high you see which saw a vision of the almighty falling into a trance so balaam was in a trance but having his eyes open let's scroll down i shall see him but not now i shall behold him but not nigh 
there shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheep. And Edom shall be a possession, which is a so-called white man, With where Edom is a, that's talking about the so-called white man, because Esau's name, Esau's name was changed to Edom, Edom means red, but that's a whole other topic, let's keep reading. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he, which is a, who is Yahushai, that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth in the city. 20, Numbers 24 and 20. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this parable. Amalek is like one of the top tribes of, of Esau. You know, the forefather Esau had children, you know. I mean, the so-called white man's forefather Esau had children, dukes and, you know, etc. And said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he that he perished forever. And I could go get another precept on that. I'll just paraphrase it. Jacob shall be a fire, Joseph shall be a frame, and Esau shall be left for stubble. And there shall be no more remaining in the house of Esau. That's a precept. I just paraphrase it, but you can easily type it in and search it. All right, let's keep reading. Numbers 24 and 21. And he looked on the Ken the Kenites and looked and took up the, his parable and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou puttest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kenites shall be wasted unto Ashar shall be carried the hold on, let me read it again. Nevertheless, the Kenites shall be wasted unto Ashar until Ashar shall carry thee away captive. All right, let's keep reading. And he took up this, and he took up his parable and said, "Alas, who shall live when God does this?" You see, so that's a fruit. He sees he's seeing a future vision in the latter days. And the ships shall come from the coast of Chittim and shall afflict Ashur and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. You see, and Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place and Balak also went to his place so Balak finally realized that Balaam couldn't help him because the Mosai turned that curse which Balaam which Balak was trying to get Balaam to do into a blessing you see the Mosai yeah he turned it into a blessing but this is another example of how Yahweh was mentioned in the Old Testament as that star you see going back up to verse yeah numbers 24 and 17, Yahweh is that star out of Jacob, and, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. You see? So that's talking about Yahweh. Let me go get another example. Back in Genesis, I think it's Genesis. Let's see, Shiloh. He's also mentioned as Shiloh. Genesis. Let me see, Shiloh. Yeah, Genesis. Matter of fact, let's click on it. Let's go to it. Genesis 49, I'll start at Abraham, let's see, Genesis mentions Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob is the forefather of the Israelites, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, he had 12 sons, the 12 tribes of Israel, let's go, let's see, uh, I want to start, I'm going to read here, I'm going to start at verse 1, Genesis 49 and 1, and Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last in the glory. In the last days, you see? In the last days. In the last days. Alright, now let me scroll down. That's just to get the, you know what I'm finna read set up. So he's going to set his sons down and tell them what shall befall them in the last days. And you can read this in your own time, but I want to get to the point. Let's see. 49 and 8. Genesis 49 and 8. Gen uh, Judah. Judah, thou art whom thy brother shall praise. Thy, thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whip from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stood up, he stood, he stooped down, 
and he crouched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. Verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, unto Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. You see? Binding his foal unto the vine, and his ass coat unto the choice vine, he washed his garment in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. You see? Now, if you know the scriptures as well as I do, and the teachers that I learned from, if you watch GMS, which, you know, GMS got the truth. I don't care what you say. GMS is the only camp that got the truth. I watched plenty of other camps, and yeah, they exposed them. It was only a matter of time before the most I got me to watch GMS. Let's see. His eyes, verse 12, Genesis 49 and 12. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth shall be white with milk. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai. I could go deeper into it, but I'm just doing give you quick examples of where Yahweh Shai was mentioned in the in the in the book. Because he is in the volume of the book. Alright, let me see. What else can I get? What else can I get? Let's see. Go back up. Let's see. Malak, yeah, Malak Tazadak. Let's see. Malak Tazadak. Yep. Hebrews 7. Hebrews 7. Let's go to Hebrews 7. This is going to be the final example. Hebrews 7. Could show you more, but I'm going to end the lesson off with this scripture. Hebrews 7. And then I'm going to show you show you how it links up. Show you that's how, you, how that's your how it shot. Let's see. For this, Malak Tazadak, king of Selman, priest of the Most High. See, he was a priest of the Most High, which is Yahweh, whose name is Yahweh, who Abraham met from returning from the slaughters of the king and blessed him. Let me go down to the point. Let me see. Without, hold up, let's go back up. Verse 2. To whom Abraham also gave a tenth part of all, first being interpreted as king of righteousness, after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God. You see, abiding a priest continually. You're not just made unto the Son of God. You have to be the Son of God. Let me go. Let's go back. Let's get another precept. Uh, yep, let's go back. Uh, let me click on it. Well, let's let me let me read down even further. Right. Let's see. Verse nine, and also may I, and as I may say also, as I may say also that Levi, also who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham, for he was yet in the loins of his father. His father, when Mount Chesedek met him, you see. So Levi was in the loins of his father. His father was who? Uh, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel when Mount Chesedek met him. So Mount Chesedek had to have been Yahweh Shai. Let's see. Let's go get. A, let me click on it and get another precept. Malak uh, Tazadak. Why is my screen doing that? That's it all white for. All right, let's see. Let me see if I turn the light down some. Here we go. There we go. All right. All right. Let's see. Hebrews five. This is a few precepts. Right, let's see. And as he said also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Mount Chesedek. You see? We're just talking about Yahweh Shai. Let's click on it. Let's go get let's go get a more. I'm a let's see. 
Hebrews 5, hello, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Hebrews 5 and 5. Also, so also, Yahweh Shai, the, I mean, Hamashiach glorified not himself to be made and high priest, but he that set, said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. As he said also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Mount Chesedek. He was talking to Yahweh Shai also. Yahweh Shai is Mount Chesedek. Let's go get into the precept. Let's see. Let's see. All right, this is Hebrews five and ten. Just getting a few precepts. Let's see. I think it, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Though he were, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation. Unto all them that obeyed him, called of Yahweh and high priest after the order of Mount Chesedek, of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are all dull of hearing. All right, let's go get another precept. I think it's one in Hebrews 4 and 14. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. As a matter of fact, let's go to Hebrews 4 and 14. This will be the last scripture right here. Hebrews 4. Let's see. That high priest which has gone into the heavens. Because you notice how Yahweh shot in Hebrews 78. I mean, Mount Malak Tazalak never died, but, and he was made like unto the Son of God. There's only one Son of God. Let's see. Hebrews 4 and 14. Let me go down. Hebrews 4 and 14. Neither. Let's see. Hebrews 4 and 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. It says, you know, J, the J word. Yahweh Shai, the son of God, let us hold fast our professions. You see? Yahweh Shai and Mount Chesedek are the same people. Or the same, is the same person, same spirit. For we have not, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. True. Let's see. Alright. Let me see if I can at least get one more precept. Let me see. I'm trying to get that blurry blurry inside of this tablet I'm holding I'm holding the tablet and doing a lesson ain't that crazy let's see but uh, let's see uh, let's see what's one let's Hebrews 7 that's in 7 I just read that 7 15 let's see let's see Let's, let's let's start. Let's see. Hebrews seven. Let's see. Hebrews seven and eleven. If therefore perfection were by the Le Levi Levitical priests, yeah, I read it. Yeah, let's continue to read Hebrews seven. Let's start eleven. Verse eleven. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Mount Chesedek and not be called after the order of Aaron, you see? For the priesthood being changed, there is made a necessary is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe and of see, because Yahweh was from the tribe of Judah. Let's see. I think it's in Revelations. Let's see. And of which no man gave attendance at all. At, I mean, no gave no attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. You see. And in, and in Revelations it says, uh, a lion.